I have seen it a lot of movies, but seeing it in person now is just something else, just glorious. Yeah. Hollywood did a great job by advertising the US and I couldn't wait to explore and to see the places I have seen in my entire life in movies. I was thinking at first that Americans are not reachable, but then when I came here, I found out they are so reachable, they are so friendly, they are so open. Hello, hello. Here is your key. Here is your binder. Okay. And we're here for the Saudi Young Leaders Exchange program. The purpose is to send a group of Saudi young professionals to America and learn about American values, culture, establish a connection with Americans. Oh, cool. When you start meeting people and interacting with people, it takes politics out of it, it takes business out of it, and you're just making people-to-people -people connections. My name is Jihad al -Mutab. I'm 25 years old. I have a bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery, and I'm currently starting my residency training at the intensive care unit. A flexible dieting program. When I applied to this program, I found it as a great opportunity for me to develop myself and to get to know more about uh, the diversity and culture of the United States. Actually, most of them like want to come there. My name is Dujana Sharif. I am a business developer. I want to be an entrepreneur. As a person who is interested in several languages and interested in cultures, this is a great opportunity where I get the chance to learn from them and they get the chance to learn from us as well. We can collaborate together to make the world a better place. Assalamu alaikum, Salam. Good morning. We're really looking forward to supporting you throughout this program in your professional journeys and your personal journeys. Right now we're in Washington, D.C. The big aim is official orientation, welcome to America, what you're going to expect when you're in America, what might be surprising to you. Ready, set, go! 30 seconds, first person! <laughs> But then also we start introducing some topics like networking, communication skills, conflict resolution. A lot of the leadership training will happen in week one. Okay, what do the red and white stripes on the American flag symbolize? We played an online trivia game, a fun way to kind of get to know America. So as American as the hamburger, Texas barbecue. <laughs> It introduces some fun topics like history or food, but then it also talks about some issues. What is the average difference between men and women's salary in America? Like men and women's pay, the pay gap. Yeah, that was surprising because I was thinking that they're gonna have the same amount. What is the official language of the United States? <laughs> fact about United States, we don't have an official language, we're the nation of immigrants. I was actually very shocked that the United States does not have an official language. There is a melting pot with different ethnicity, different backgrounds, and different languages. We went to the White House. They got to kind of understand what it represents for America. The White House actually was really impressive. It was smaller than I saw in movies, yeah, that's, that's a fact. And I would I quite understand that every place in America have a gift shop. <laughs> and then we went to Black Lives Matter Plaza, where after George Floyd, a lot of people came to protest. And they were asking questions like, what does it mean for you? And is this because of police brutality? And talking about Americans in general, how politicians can kind of understand what the American people are thinking is through protesting and through our right to freedom of speech. When the public doesn't like a decision that the federal government does, they'll go to the White House, they'll go to the Supreme Court, and they'll protest in front of it. That's very much, they feel, they don't let us slide. Yeah, the American people There's feel that's part of their responsibility yeah. towards keeping their government in check, right? Yeah. It's kind of impressive. They have the opportunity to uh, express their opinion in a peaceful way. And seeing that gives you an idea that 
people are trying to address these issues and trying to solve it. Good morning, everybody. It's good to start an international experience by looking at culture. Living side by side is taught by Sean T from Legacy International, how to be a leader, how to engage with people that might be different from you and engage with people that will attack an issue different than you. And just develop a list that you basically can agree on, you don't have to argue about this, that would be typical cultural values. When you are having dialogue, having tough conversations about really important issues, you can come to an agreement respectfully. And I would say also uh, hospitality. What about generosity? I learned about how to address an issue, what are the different types of conflict uh, resolution, and how to widen your perspective and see the issue from a different perspective and understand the big picture of it. Does that mean you're avoiding? Sometimes you avoid in order to prevent a conflict from emerging. There is something stuck with my mind that she said that before you are judging or before you are speaking, just listen carefully, not hearing, because there is a difference between hearing and listening. Everybody can hear, but not everybody can listen. In one sentence, only one, say something that you've learned today that was meaningful to you, that was worthwhile to you. Communication is the key, so stop with communication. Analyze uh, the conflict before he acts. Uh, listen more. We took our first week in Washington, D.C., and now we are in the second week. We are here in Chicago. A few of the other group went to Detroit, and some of them went to Pittsburgh. The first thing that someone said was, we're finally in a big city. I noticed the difference between DC and Chicago is the architecture is amazing. It's a walkable city, so we're gonna walk a lot and uh, transportation is a good option. We are used to cars a lot and trying those public transportation were actually a good experience. I was actually surprised to know that Chicago has different neighborhoods that has multiple ethnicities. One of them, which I visited today, was actually known by the Mexican culture. Murals are meant to be specific to that community struggle, to that neighborhood. We went on a tour and saw some murals today. This mural is meant to tell the story of the first time that somebody in Mexico saw La Virgen de Guadalupe. I learned about some myths in Mexican culture, some characters in the Mexican culture. This is La Mujer Dormida, or in uh, Aztec Itzashiwatul, um, the sleeping woman. I think that's a great opportunity because he was putting a lot of Spanish in the English words. I wouldn't expect that the people I met having different backgrounds, some of them, their uh, family from Ireland, some of them, their family from Mexico or Spanish or Ukraine. There is a lot of diversity. Actually, I think it's very impressive that people can live side by side with different ethnicities, different backgrounds, which is actually amazing. So, the first step that you're gonna do is to turn the bicycle over. We went to Working Bikes, uh, and it was an opportunity for the participants to engage in community service work and get exposed to philanthropy that we, as Americans, pride ourselves on. We got the opportunity to refurbish bikes, to fix it and send it to the people who's going to need it. So instead of wasting it, then we're going to recycle it. And I found that a great opportunity, a great initiative. It's given me an idea about how can we do simple things and that would benefit the globe, not only the United States. It was hard and fun at the same time. Hello, everyone. This is Lujene Sharif, business developer specialist and part of Silib 2021. In the last week, we go back to Washington, D.C. It's kind of putting together everything you've experienced in the last two weeks. It's mostly the project, a social entrepreneurship project that has to impact at least 25 people in their community. And I'm here to enlighten you about an issue that has been affecting several societies for decades now. The World Health Organization published a study that revealed that the fifth leading cause of death by risk factors is obesity. 
numbers of obese patients are actually increasing. So I'm planning to make a platform that targets young adults to help them in their journey to lose weight. It actually offers a unique solution for each individual by designing a specific plan based on their diet preferences and also their available resources and equipment. They're going to get inspiration from being in the United States. The people they're meeting, the different projects that Americans are working on, how they're tackling issues facing our society socially. So then how we deal with issues here, they could try and implement back in Saudi. When I used to be a little, I heard a lot about pollution and how it is damages our life. My project is called STEP, which stands for Save the Environment from Plastic. When I came here to United States, I saw a lot of people using the recyclable bags instead of plastic bags, which was, let me think, what if we do the same thing in Saudi Arabia, make our environment more sustainable? And go to the grocery market, not only showing them the problem, but also show them the solution and engaging them to increase the awarenesses. Thank you so much. There are a lot of things that I have got from this program that will help me either in my personal or professional life. This experience gave me a lot of ideas that I can do more and I can give more. You cannot only use money or you cannot use knowledge. We can help people. We can improve our community in many different ways. It was actually a lot of fun with a lot of work, but we enjoyed it.